guys welcome back to my channel if you are new here hi my name is taylor i am so happy to have you here today is saturday it's july 29th i think 29th july 28th or july 29th mm, july 29th it is around 8 30 in the morning and i am alone today dan's in san diego at a bachelor party this weekend so i am all by myself and i honestly haven't spent a few nights by myself in easily like months so it feels nice it feels nice to just like have some alone time to myself so i figured that today since it's saturday i have no plan i would do kind of like a like ideal perfect day in my life like things that just make me happy things that i love doing i am going to bring you guys along for that starting off i just got ready and kind of put myself together a little bit did some skincare brushed up my eyebrows things of that sort and we are going to go on a walk this morning. I am craving a matcha from Starbucks. So we're going to do my favorite thing, go on a walk, get some matcha, maybe listen to some music or a podcast or something. And then we're going to come home, maybe get breakfast at Starbucks too, I don't know. And then we're going to come home and I might work out or... I might just save it for tomorrow. It's going to depend on timing and everything of how long my walk takes. Um, but we're going to go to the beach. I absolutely love going to the beach by myself. I like one of my favorite things to do. I break my book. I'm just going to lay there all day and tan, hopefully, and just relax on the beach. Tonight, I'm going to do an everything shower, cook myself a good meal. I might run to Ulta just because I have an Ulta gift card that I want to use and then yeah just honestly kind of relax for the night so I figured that I'm going to take you guys along for all of that we can hang out today you guys can be my company today and let's get the day started it's 8 30 in the morning in LA and it's already 74 degrees so it's going to be a hot one today so I am just wearing this little set active set um I think it's in the color Oxford it was like the core colors I believe last year and I think I'm going to throw like a linen shirt over it just because it's too hot to wear like a zip up sweatshirt but I don't really want to go walking like this outside so I'm going to throw a shirt over it. If we could run it, if we could run it back and do you wonder, if we could run it back, if we could run it, if we could run it back and do you it's already so hot out. I'm like chugging this. I think that I am gonna have such a hard time finding parking at the beach, so I probably should go home and get my shit together. I just got home from my walk. It was like really hot out, you guys. It's getting really hot quick, but it's only 9.44 and I wanna like spend my afternoon at the beach, so I don't wanna go just yet. So I think I'm going to wait for Alta to open up. And in the meantime, I'm gonna edit. I wanna put up a video tomorrow. So I'm gonna edit um, my YouTube video. And then if I do Alta and I get back at like 10.30, 11, I think that would be like my perfect timing to go to the beach. I don't know why, but at home, like in Jersey, I love being on the beach. Like the earlier, the better. Like if I can be on the beach by 8.30, 9 a.m., like that's my ideal. But here, it's just better in the afternoon for some reason. I think it's because of the way like the sun comes over. Yeah, it's just better. So I'm going to wait until then. I'm going to do some editing right now and just like some admin stuff. And then I'll see you guys in a little bit. I just edited for like 30-ish minutes and now I am going into the dark bathroom so you guys can't see me. Now I am going to go to Ulta really quick and pick up like some restocks of stuff. I'll do like a little haul for you guys, show you what I get. Um, it's going to be nothing too crazy or fun, but just things that I need, everyday items that I use. So I'll show you when I get back. low-key such an ordeal i went at like 10 30 it's now 11 21. selena never really had to do i'm literally like out of breath 
I went there, I got everything that I needed to get. I also wanted to do like go my favorite items and all the TikTok. And I got all the way up to the counter and realized that I left my gift card at home, which like wasn't a huge deal, but it was gonna be like 70 bucks. Like I'm not trying to pay that on my own when I have a gift card at home. So I asked them to like leave everything at the counter and then I ran home, got my gift card, came all the way back, and I finally got my stuff. So you guys know what time it is. It is time for an Ulta haul. This is gonna be mainly like beauty products, drugstore, budget friendly. So let's see what we got here. Okay, this first thing is actually not beauty. I really wanted to try it. I've been wanting to try these for a while um, and my nails are literally horrid right now. So I got the OPI Expressions Press On. I got it in like Lincoln Park after dark. So I don't know. We're gonna see if this works. I maybe, We'll try it on after we get back from the beach and like get cleaned up and stuff for tonight. Then we got the e.l.f. invisible sunscreen. You guys know that I love the Well Glow sunscreen. It's like my all time favorite, but it like is really glowy and I sometimes like don't want that for like a beach day or like just a pool day. Like I don't need it. So I got the invisible sunscreen, which I believe is similar to the unseen sunscreen from Supergoop, which I love. So I got this stuff. I'm excited to try it. I think that was like $14. I got my tried and true Maybelline Colossal Lash Mascara. I got it in Glam Black. This stuff mixed in with like a lengthening mascara is the perfect combination. Then I wanted to try this so bad. I wasn't going in expecting to get this, but I'm excited to see how I like it. It is the e.l.f. Halo Glow. You guys, this is like so viral. I'm not sure this is a surprise to anyone, but I got it in shade 4. It's like a medium. I feel like, I don't know. It'll give me a little bit of color with my tan, but I just wanted to see if I I like it and see how that looks on me and then i've been need needing to get this for such a long time but i specifically waited because i am such a good vlogger for the vlog today because i knew i was gonna do like a little alta haul for you guys so i suffered without my eyebrow gel all week this is the elf wild brow tinted gel i get it in neutral brown it's my absolute go-to favorite favorite stuff ever i swear i use this stuff every day no matter what and i fly through it but it's like five dollars so who cares and then i got two more things I got the Dream BB Pure Skin Tint. Um, this is shade 120 medium. I just needed a new one of these things and it's like the only skin tint that I like. It's also very budget friendly. I think it's like, I don't know, $10, $12. And then for my birthday gift, from Ulta. They gave me the Redken Acidic Bonding Concentrate. I'm not entirely sure what this is. If I had to guess, I would say it's similar to like Olaplex number three. But it says apply to damp hair and leave on for 10, five to 10 minutes, rinse, then apply the shampoo, lather and rinse, follow with the concentrate conditioner. Okay. I'm normally like not a fan of stuff that you have to apply to damp hair and then like get out of the shower, wait, and then get back in, but whatever. It was free, so we're gonna try this. So, that is everything that I got from Ulta. Now that it's 11.30, it's a little bit later than what I wanted to head to the beach by, but I guess I'm just gonna go home and pack up and then get myself to the beach, and I want everyone to please pray for me because parking is going to be heinous, and I'm nervous, especially by myself, and majority of it is parallel parking. So, wish me luck on that. I'll probably just like pack a few snack items, nothing crazy. I really don't want to bring a cooler, but I guess I'll probably have to. But yeah, that's the plan. So, off to the beach we go. I'm in the car right now on my way to the beach and I don't know you guys, I don't know if it's in the cards for me today because it has gotten a little bit cooler since this morning and LA has like really um get like really quickly get not smoggy but like misty and like foggy and the closer I get to the beach that is what it's looking like so I don't know I will drive there see what it looks like and then we will decide from there I'm like literally five minutes from the beach so it's not a big deal if I decide to turn around and just go to the pool which would suck but we'll see what happens I don't know if this does it justice, but like, you can kind of see if I zoom in. It's not like super sunny down there, and that's the direct direction of the beach. So I don't know. We'll see. I'm driving around right now trying to find parking, and I just... 
as bummed as I am to say it, I don't know if this is in the cards for me, you guys. Not only is like, I knew parking was gonna be a mess, but not only is it like extra, extra a mess, but it's just not really, like, it's cloudy. It's like, it's like gray skies here. It's like not blue, like it's not like partly cloudy, like it's full gray skies here, which is very common for like super coastal California. Um, the weather can change like you probably saw in literally five minutes so I don't know and it's it, on the beach like it would be one thing if it was like just like still hot and gray skies and like the UV index was still strong but it is pretty windy on the beach as well so I don't know I'm kind of bummed I'm not gonna lie but I'm trying to like not let it ruin my day I literally see them on like in the camera when I you let see the skies right here like it's full blown gray which is so crazy because when I was walking like you guys can see it in the clips when I was walking this morning it was the bluest sky like so hot I thought it was going to be an absolutely perfect beach day you drive five minutes up the road and it is legit the exact opposite so 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 I think doing all of that just like fully talked myself into going back to the pool because at least I know my pool does not get very windy um, all the buildings kind of block it but I still get like good direct sunlight for tanning so I think that's what I'm gonna do whatever I can still read my book and tan which is honestly the only two things that I really want to do today so I will see you guys I guess at the pool kind of bummed but it is what it is <sighs> whatever <laughs> It's about 5 15 I think I haven't talked to you guys in a few hours the beach was obviously a bust so I went to the pool and I spent the rest of my afternoon there it was like cloudy at first and then it got really really sunny and hot which was nice so I did get some good color and then I came back up here and I just took a beautiful everything shower it was so nice and I did like a little bit of a gla like a darker glaze to my hair I just felt like it was getting too a little bit too brassy so I wanted to trim it down a little bit so I did a darker glaze to my hair and now I have to do skincare so I think I'm gonna do a TikTok of my like post everything shower post being in the sun all day TikTok and then I'm just gonna chill read for a little bit um I want to do those nails that I got from Ulta later tonight and then I'm going to cook at home which of course I totally forgot to take out the meat until now and it's five and it's gonna take like probably a good two hours to thaw so we're having a later dinner tonight but that's the plan I will hang out with you guys tonight and we can spend the evening together and then yeah that's pretty much it i probably have the summer i turned pretty on deck um which mixed feelings i'm really watching the series because i read all three of the books and i absolutely love them i like the series do i think that it does the book justice no but does any series really ever do the book justice no so doing that and then down by the pool i really got into happy place i started it yesterday and i was like 20 pages in and now i'm like 150 pages in so i'm really diving into that book and that book i really really like so far i think it's definitely living up to the hype that's all that's on the agenda for tonight and we will see where the night brings us i'm definitely like a little bit sunburnt right here my nose always gets so sunburnt i don't know why i don't know now i'm just rambling it feels so freaking good to do like an everything shower after like being in the sun all day and just get into an oversized t-shirt and like comfy clothes and feel so clean so i really love that feeling i'm gonna go do my tiktok and then i'm gonna go see where the night takes me ignore the fact that all of this is on the floor but these are the products that i used for my tiktok tonight they're all of my favorite products my tried and true I've been hung up on yesterday woke up at noon i'm in a day we'll keep on pushing i really 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 don't want to cook 
I've literally just been sitting here. I haven't even done the editing that I was supposed to do, but I've been running through Happy Place. Like I am almost 75% of the way done and I think I started it. I literally started it yesterday. Definitely, definitely lives up to the hype. It's 7.30 now and I really, really should make myself some food. It says on the HelloFresh card that it's gonna take like um, 35, 40 minutes to make. I think I'll read one more chapter and then I will force myself to get up. That's what I'm gonna do. Tonight we are making, this has been sitting in the fridge for like a week and a half now and I really don't want it to go to waste. So even though Dan's not here, I'm still gonna make it tonight for dinner and then I can have it for leftovers tomorrow. But we're making a stuffed meatball rigatoni bake, which honestly sounds pretty good and I'm sure it will be good. It's stuffed meatballs with mozzarella inside of them. So I am sure it will be fine. Nothing crazy. And then maybe I'll finish off with another bowl of Lucky Charms. Who knows? I feel like, do you get like, I wanna know if when you guys were growing up, your parents were like, no, like you can't have that to like something sweet or like something maybe like not so healthy. And now that you're older, you have a legit addiction to it and like you will go out of your way to get it. When I feel like if my parents had just been like, okay, like you can have that, I probably would have eaten enough of it that I would have like gotten over it or like I would have been sick of it. But now since my parents always told me that I couldn't have like sugary cereal, I constantly want sugary cereal whenever like I have a moment to myself. I don't know, I don't know. Guys, this really looks so good. A little messy, but yummy. I made my dinner and I have it on the couch. It honestly looks really good. I'm proud of myself because I don't love making meatballs, but it looks delicious. I'm going to probably start to wind down tonight. I think I'll talk to you guys a little bit more a little later and I'm gonna watch The Summer I Turned Pretty. I feel like now that I started that series, I have to like see it through through the end. I'm gonna watch that. I'm gonna go eat my dinner, watch Summer I Turned Pretty and just continue to relax a little bit. I just finished dinner and I totally forgot about doing these so I think I want to test them out and see how they work I don't know why I think I just got influenced by like all the tiktoks that I saw but doing this has reminded me of like why I literally hate doing this <laughs> So I don't know I'm gonna put them on because I bought them and I spent the money on them and then probably never do it again But we'll see I'll let you guys know how it turns out final semi-final result i don't know i haven't had nails this long in a few months but i'm gonna some of them you can see like are very long and then some of them aren't so long so i'm gonna wait for the glue to dry and then file them down not a total failure just like even this is too high maintenance for me it is around 10 o'clock now. I think I'm gonna turn in for the night. I am gonna wait and file these down tomorrow once I'm like super sure that the glue is dried and like everything is in its place. As you could tell, I started this vlog wanting like the most perfect day for myself and it wasn't a perfect day. There were some things that didn't go as planned, some hiccups in the day, but that's okay. Overall, it was just really nice, honestly, to spend some time by myself and with myself for the first time in what feels like a while. It was still a good day, and I still had a lot of fun. I'm ready for Dan to come home. I'm ready to not sleep by myself anymore um, and just have him be around, so I'm excited about that. 
he lands tomorrow morning and I still get like nervous excitement when I know I'm gonna see him after being away from him so I can't wait for that I think I'm gonna do the closing shift honestly the whole entire closing shift is almost done there's only like a few things left that I need to do I need to like put away something in the fridge and then like brush my teeth my skincare is all done already I posted my TikTok so you guys can go check it out and then yeah that's really it but I hope you guys all had a, such a good day too thanks for hanging with me thank you for coming along on my perfect not so perfect day to myself um please 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 like and subscribe down below and you can turn on post notifications so you never miss when i put up a new video other than that i love you guys and i will see you in the next one bye <laughs>